There we go. All right, so we're live on Facebook, we're recording on Zoom, and I think we're ready to go if you're ready, Rosie. Yeah, we are good. Hey, everybody, welcome in Zoom land and welcome in Facebook inside EO Life Hub. I'm Rosie Grimmer. I'm super excited to share the brilliance of Sarah Joseph with you tonight. She is perfectly positioned to be able to teach us about supporting our kids and even the kid inside of each one of us, right? With um, ways to manage that mind chatter. I just can't wait for her to share with you about all of that and coupling essential oils with it too. And you know, Sarah and I, we actually talked about this about a week ago. We had no idea the kinds of things that were gonna unfold over these last few days with things coming out in the news and things being canceled. And we did say in that conversation, like how do we help kids to manage what they're overhearing in the news and what they're overhearing in their conversations around them at school and in their families? And, you know, our kids have got some genuine concerns. My husband works at a school and another teacher got a call today and his daughter called and was like, a kid just sneezed on me in class. What do I do? And that, that little girl was genuinely concerned about what does she do? Cause she was just sneezed on. Right. So I hope that you guys can feel our hearts in this. I know Sarah's got a lot of great information and I'm so grateful for her time. And I'm going to go ahead and like just turn off my video and I'm going to sit and um, take notes and just enjoy too. And then you guys will hear from me again at the end of the presentation. All right. Thank you, Rosie. I'm so excited to have, have this captive audience. Thank you for inviting me onto EO Life Hub to share. I'm going to go ahead and start my little screen sharing PowerPoint thing that I got going on. Um, and I'll just introduce myself a bit for those of you that don't know me. I am a mom of two. My name is Sarah Joseph. Um, I live on the Sunshine Coast of British Columbia, Canada, and I have a background in social work with some postgraduate studies in trauma. And I'm a positive discipline trainer, which means that I train, I, I teach parent education classes. Um, I'm also an author and I've been using doTERRA products for about five years and no joke, I have no clue how I lived without these supports in my life before that. Um, okay, so before we really jump into anything, I want to give you an experience. I want us to all be present here tonight. So I want you to take out your favorite essential oil. Um, or whatever you have. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment so you can see me. I've got my steady blend from the kids kit and so I just want you to take a moment to pull this out and I don't know why you are big on my screen Rosie. I don't know if everybody else has got me big on their screen but I want you to be able to see me so I hope that's the case. Um, it is the case. Thank you Katrina for letting me know that. So take out one of your favorite oils I'm using Steady from the Kit Children's Blend. I want you to just rub some on your palm of your hand or put a drop in the palm of your hand. Just rub them together, cup them over your nose and mouth and take a couple deep breaths in. I want you to really just relax into this moment and just be here. Just let the rest of the day melt away. I know everybody was probably getting dinner, getting kids to bed commuting, listening to the news, talking to their partners or their friends or family about what's going on in the world. So I just want to like completely let all of that go for the next 45 minutes or so and just be present here. When you have done that, and I know that I can't see everybody, but you can see me, <laughs> so I'm going to ask you to do this anyways. I want you to make an okay sign with your hand, all right? And once you have that okay sign, I want you to go ahead and I want you to put that okay sign right on your chin. Now, I can see a couple people and I want you to look at me and see what I'm doing. Where did you end up? In? But I, and so I just wanna ask, what does this tell us about kids? What does this inform us about them? What does this teach us about how kids learn? And pop, pop your answers in the comments below. 
in your in the chat for Zoom or in the live stream. What do you think? Right? Kids learn. Kids learn through modeling, right? They learn through what we show them. And so what are we showing them right now? Right? How are you handling what's going on in the world? How are you handling the stress that's coming in, the news you're receiving? Um, you know, there's lots, there's so much going on right now. And so as we're receiving all of this news and we start feeling stressed and we start talking about the stress, um, often what happens with us is our emotions start going up, right? And our stress levels start going up and the tension starts building. And we have less and less space for things outside of what is normal. So a child's behavior might happen. That's normal, but our reaction becomes knee jerk, right? We don't, we don't just allow that behavior to happen and respond in our normal way because our, our bandwidth has shrunk, right? Our window of tolerance has shrunk because we've already taken on all of this stress. And so <clears throat> I just wanna take a moment just to like remind ourselves that as we're taking on more stress, it's really helpful to do some self-care, right? And before we can help our kids, we really need to help ourselves. Remember the wisdom of the flight attendant, put your own oxygen mask on first before you try to put the oxygen mask on for anyone that you love or care for, right? So take care of you. And we'll, take, we'll talk a little bit more about that as the night goes on, but just keep that in mind, <laughs> all right? All right, let's see if I can figure out how to move these slides. There we go. All right, so first up, when we're choosing oils, I know that most of you are watching because you're already using doTERRA, but I always like to talk and remind people that we have the best essential oils on earth, right? Because of our sourcing, because of our quality, because doTERRA is so transparent, we know that we can trust these essential oils to, to use on ourselves and on our children, on the people who mean the most to us. Um, and if you need more information about the quality or the sourcing um, or the source to you website and how to use that, please reach out to your, your oil support person, the person who invited you to the, watch this video tonight or the person who supports you. And there's three ways that we usually typically use essential oils. One is aromatically. And that means just like we did earlier, smelling the essential oil from the bottle, from the drop that you put into your hand, diffusing like I'm doing beside me. Um, and aromatically is the quickest way to get the essential oils into your brain and to affect mood, which is why I love diffusing all the time. <laughs> and smelling the essential oils, right? When we use essential oils, we want to make sure that we're using the full, um, the, the full effect of those essential oils. It's good to put, put some fractionated coconut oil on or another carrier oil to help trap the essential oils onto your skin. It will also help reduce any signs of sensitivity, redness, um, hot oils especially. Right, if we're using a spicy oil, we want to make sure that we're diluting that correctly for kids so that it doesn't feel like it's warming their skin too much and make it uncomfortable for them. Also, diluting just helps us spread it further and get more bang for our buck. So always helpful to dilute. The other way we can use um, essential oils in, is internally. And we can also use essential oils internally with children, not just with adults. And one of my favorite ways to do this is add essential oils to our smoothies um, or to make on guard apples. On guard apples are a great, quick, healthy snack that we can use with our, um, give to our kids, uh, pack them in glass and send them off to school, or just make them as an after school snack. They're delicious <laughs> and help, pro help protect our kids um, by boosting their immune system. 
and the kids love them. They taste great. And the apples don't brown for like a whole day or two. It's amazing. All right. So I want to get back to this, this aromatic way that we use essential oils and why it's so important for what we're talking about today. So essential oils get into our olfactory system and that takes the essential oil right into our limbic system, which is the emotional seat of the brain. And it unlocks the amygdala or the guard dog of the brain, which is the really the, like the, the house of emotions and emotional behavior. So we want to use essential oils aromatically the most right now to help support our emotions and emotional behavior. So the other thing I wanted to mention was just that we can use essential oils as an anchoring technique. And so basically an anchoring technique is a, like a neural tool. So what this means is that it's a simple way to give our, our brain a, a cue so that it will return to a state of feeling that we want. For instance, um, a bedtime routine is really important as parents, we know this, right? As you're going through the routine, your brain is cued that it is time to start settling down and start getting into sleepy mode. And because of that cue, your brain actually releases relaxing chemicals and melatonin into the system to help you fall asleep quicker. Essential oils is like that anchoring tool. Okay, so we can use essential oils when we're trying to correct behavior, when we're trying to teach relaxation techniques or breathing techniques as an anchor to our brain, a cue to our brain, that when we smell that, that aroma, that our brain will take us back to how we felt when we were practicing those tools. Does that make sense to everybody? Any questions? So just think about like when we were just at the beginning, we were taking a couple deep breaths and we we're coming into relaxation. And now in a, you know, in an hour or two, if you were starting to feel stressed and worked up again, you could use the same aroma and it would cue your brain to go right back to that relaxation that you were feeling earlier, right? Without having to wait half an hour or, you know, 15 minutes of nice deep breathing, it'll happen quicker because you're, you're starting to build that anchor. You're starting to build that cue into your brain. Okay. So some of the ways that we can support our kids with emo, um, essential oils and emotion uh, for their emotions and their behaviors is to really to create a healthy foundation with diet and supplements. We want to make sure that we're ensuring good gut health with a quality probiotic and model taking a break when you're feeling upset and using your essential oils and then help empower kids with the skills to safely apply those essential oils that we're going to talk about. So essential oils can um, support our brains and behavioral responses. They support us physically, mentally, and emotionally, and they're great to help with cellular health function, positively affect our mood, overall health, and wiring the brain for healthier thought patterns and responses. Just like I was talking about the anchoring, right? It's an anchor for, our, for an anchoring cue to our brains that's gonna help wire our brains for quicker responses back to that balance or the equilibrium or the good feelings that we're looking for. So before we dive into talking about some of the essential oils, I want to talk about the PB Assist Junior. Gut health is so crucial for our emotional wellness and our physical wellness. Gut health affects how we feel, how we think, how we process, and our energy levels. So it's really important that we're using probiotics for ourselves but also that our children have a great probiotic. My kids love this PB Assist, and it's so easy to just to take one out and throw it into their lunches and send it off to school with them. And they always come home and ask, mom, can you put two probiotics in my lunch tomorrow? Because somebody else wants to try it. Everybody is asking me, they think it looks so fun. Can I have a few more? <laughs> my answer is, here's my card, get their parents, call me. <laughs> <laughs> so a few other things that we can use to help with overall health is the A to Z uh, chewable tablets. Um, these ones, they taste great. They're chewable, so they're easy to get down. Um, but but they, they help with bone health, nerve health, um, immune system. 
um, it's just a really great foundation for our kids to have. The Rescuer and Stronger um, Blends Rescuer is really great for soothing aches and pains, muscles, grow, growing pains. And the Stronger is really wonderful for um, helping build immune systems to help protect our immune systems, support our immune systems if we're fighting anything. I love frankincense and I really do think that every home needs to have a bottle of frankincense in there. Frankincense is amazing for cellular health, brain health, um, and it's great for emotional support. So the way that frankincense really works is it helps clear off cell receptors. So if you think about getting stuck in a thought pattern or stuck in a behavioral pattern, um, kind of like if you were eating a a cinnamon bun and you got the sticky residue stuck on your fingers, right? You'd have to go wash it off. So frankincense will go in and wash off the sticky residue that's on your cell receptors so that your cell receptors can communicate better with each other and help us break those, those patterns that we're stuck in, the thought process patterns. Um, sometimes I have parents come to me and they say that their kids have um, kind of get stuck, right? They have, they want something <laughs> and they won't take no for an answer and they get stuck in this like power struggle because their kids won't let it go. Frankincense is the, the, the helper for this, okay? It's gonna help let go of those repetitive thought patterns and behaviors. All right, so brain and emotional health um, is, is really helpful with our IQ Omega. So the omegas promote our immune systems, our nervous systems, and support healthy function of our brain as well. And my kids, this is the only omega that they'll take because it doesn't taste like fish. It tastes like orange. <laughs> so they'll actually drink it, um, which I love. Okay, so I wrote, I wrote a book called The Animals in My Brain, and it's a children's book. And the reason I wrote it is because I work with families and I work with children. And in my sessions, my counseling sessions, I was always trying to explain how the brain worked to kids. And I started using this analogy of animals. And then I made up this poster and it was working really good. Um, and I was sending it home with my families that I was working with and they were coming back and saying, oh my gosh, it's working so well. And now it's so helpful because we have this common language that we can understand, we can talk to each other about and explain what's going on for us emotionally. Um, so I decided to write a book to help spread that word more and get this um, useful tool out to the world. And so I'd like to explain to you how the brain works using this book. Okay, so the animals in my brain. I want you to imagine that the amygdala is the guard dog, okay? And so your guard dog is the part of your brain that warns you about danger and helps you act fast to get out of the danger, okay? So the amygdala takes in everything that's going on around you, all the sights, all the sounds, all the smells, and decides if that information is safe or if it's unsafe. And if that information is safe, then the amygdala or guard dog allows that information to flow up to the higher areas of your brain for processing, okay? So it will go into the hippocampus, which is Elsa the elephant. She helps us learn and remember um, and code things and recall things. And then there's the wise old owl, which is our prefrontal cortex. And the wise old owl helps us solve problems it's also in charge of impulse control, reasoning, logic, and language, and a whole lot of other stuff. But for our purposes, that's enough. <laughs> and so <clears throat> what happens when information comes into the brain that the dog, guard dog thinks is unsafe is that it sends a signal out to wake up Anthony the ape, which is the fight, flight, or freeze response. And so Anthony only knows how to do those three things. He knows how to fight, he knows how to freeze, and he knows how to run. And so what I tell kids is that usually, and it's true for adults too, if Anthony the ape is in charge, we usually do and say things that get us into trouble, right? So when Anthony comes out, the other animals go and hide. Elsa the elephant hides her head 
the wise old owl flies off its perch and we're not able to access those things. So when the wise old owl isn't around, we can't solve any problems. We can't reason. Our impulse control is gone, right? And sometimes our language isn't quite as what it, what, what it once was. So have you ever been so upset that you were in a state where you couldn't even string sentences together? Comment below. <laughs> have you ever heard that saying, he went ape? If so, comment below. <laughs> or give me a thumbs up or something, let me know, right? This is what's happening, okay? So the, the you know, Anth the guard dog and Anthony are our friends. They really do help when we're in dangerous situations. For instance, if, you're, if your child ran in out into the street and there was a truck barreling down, you wouldn't have to stop and think through your wise old owl to problem solve. You wouldn't go, hmm, I wonder what I should do. Should I yell stop? Should I run into the street? You wouldn't think at all. You would just hop into action because Anthony and, and Derek would help you. You just run into the street, grab your child, and pull them back onto the sidewalk. The unfortunate thing is that Derek is kind of like a puppy. He doesn't really understand the difference between a real emergency like that and just somebody pushing your buttons, somebody upsetting you you getting anxious, you getting nervous. He thinks it's all the same thing. He thinks it's an emergency. So he starts barking and he sends Elsa the elephant and the wise old owl away and wakes Anthony the ape up, which turns into the fight, flight, or freeze response, right? So one of the things I like to teach kids and adults alike is how do we start recognizing when our guard dog is growling? When we're just starting to get that inkling that the guard dog is upset, right? Before he's in full blown barking mode and, and waking Anthony the ape up and scaring off our other, uh, our other resources in our brain, other animals in our brain. How do we start recognizing what it feels like in our bodies, what, it, what, we start, what our thought patterns are, when our guard dog is just growling. Give me your thoughts, comment. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. So one of the, one of the things, um, uh, let me just go back here. Just a reminder, when your guard dog is barking or your child's guard dog is barking, you do not have access to the part of your brain that helps you solve problems reason, logic, or control your behavior, okay? So when your child's guard dog is barking and their, their ape is out in fight or flight or freeze, you cannot correct behavior. That is not the time to correct behavior, all right? Because you can't reason with them. You can't teach them a lesson because their elephant isn't there. It won't take in, it cannot learn. Their brain is not in a state where they can do those things. All right, so the only thing you can do is help them get their wise old owl and their elephant back, and then you can correct the behavior. All right, so one of the best ways to do this is to take a pause. And a pause is a practice of taking a short break when you're feeling emotionally triggered, flooded, or overwhelmed. Some of the great oils that I love using for this is cypress. Cypress is a great oil for helping us let go of control and help us step out of power struggles and create more flexibility in our thoughts, allowing us to see more possible solutions. Okay, and petty grain is another one that can help us create more healthy patterns in our life um, within our families. And so parents and kids can use these oils topically or by applying um, diluted to the back of their neck or by inhaling them deeply. You can also diffuse them. So a few tips about creating a pause practice in your family. It's really changed everything in my family, changed everything in how we react. Um, when we're able to call a pause, it really allows everybody to take care of themselves and each other emotionally and bring us back to a place where we can solve problems together. Okay. Now, an important thing to remember is to never say you need a pause. 
all right? We can't say that. That just triggers people more and gets them more upset. It's gonna escalate things. And so you can only call a pause for yourself. <laughs> so you say, I need a pause. <laughs> I'll call a pause and then take a break, all right? Um, this, is, this is one of the um, cards from my new Parenting Essentials deck. We're gonna look at a couple more throughout the night too. If I can figure out how to change my screen. There we go. So another way to help um, people calm down when they're feeling triggered and when they feel like their guard dog is growling or barking is to listen. So listening is giving your full attention to someone else, what they're saying, okay? And lemon is a great oil to help us be mentally present in the moment, helping us concentrate and focus on what is being said. And sandalwood can help us calm the mind and help us become still, inviting silence from within so we can more intently listen. And so again, parents and kids can use these oils topically um, or, or aromatically, okay? And so people listen when they feel listened to. So try listening for understanding before offering advice or suggestions. Um, you know, I don't think there's anything worse than trying to explain yourself or trying to um, vent <laughs> and somebody just keeps on talking or trying to offer you suggestions or fix it. And that's, I think, one of the things that we do the most as adults to kids, we try to fix for them constantly instead of um, allowing them to share their feelings and share their thoughts or to, to tell us what they think the solution is, right? We just go straight into fix it mode and try to, um, try to take over really. Um, and I mean, we do it with the best of intentions, right? We don't want to see our little people hurting, um, or upset or in crisis. We want to be able to make everything smooth and perfect for them. And so we, we often just jump in and try to problem solve for them. You know, when we do that though, what we're doing is we're ta we're taking their power away and often it doesn't help help them become capable and empowered, right? It doesn't help them feel capable or empowered. So the other tool that we're gonna use is empathy. And this is really one of the best tools I know <laughs> I have in my back pocket to help take somebody from completely fight or flight mode back to calm. And so empathy is really the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, to make the other person feel seen and heard. And so empathy is just a communication technique that we use to tell others that we understand what it's like to be them in this moment. And the easiest way to do to communicate that is to say something like, you seem angry, you look frustrated, you sound worried, you are nervous, right? So you use these statements and add a feeling word. And it doesn't matter if you know what they're feeling, you can guess. If you're wrong, they'll correct you, okay? It's better to guess than, than to ask them how they feel because a confused mind says no, right? A confused mind goes, I don't know what you're talking about, and they can't answer you. So guess, and they'll know that you're trying to understand even if you didn't get it right. All right, so one, a couple of the oils that can help us with this is a lavender. It aids us in calming emotions by helping us feel seen and heard. And it can calm our nervous systems and encourage communication. And kumquat is another one that helps us break patterns of repressing feelings. So it helps us invite others to validate our feelings. All right, so. I'm not, I don't know, I can't see any questions, but if you have questions, please feel free to comment or click and maybe somebody can, uh, can let me know if there, there are any questions. Not so far, Sarah. I'm watching the Facebook for you too, and there's not any questions so far. You're doing a great job. Perfect, thank you. All right, so I just wanna talk about some oils that we can specifically use for each of the animals in our brain. 
And so the first one is the wise old owl. Remember, this is the prefrontal cortex, the part that helps us with language and reasoning, logic and impulse control. And so one of my favorite oils for this is calmer. Um, so calmer is a blend of a lavender, kanga, buddha wood and Roman chamomile. And the blend can help with calming and feeling heard. It also can help with sleep and relaxation. So I gave you one of my um, diffuser blends here in case you're interested in, in a diffuser blend that can help you think clearly. All right, so Elsa the elephant, this is the, your hippocampus, right? A part of your brain that helps you learn, remember, and recall. So Thinker from the children's collection is one of my favorite blends for this or favorite oils for this. It's a blend of vetiver, um, clementine, peppermint, and rosemary. Um, so it's great for helping us stay focused, um, to get creative, to help with calming like hyperactivity so we can focus on things, but it's also great for overthinking. So, you know, again, if you feel like you're stuck, these oils are not just for children. I use them all the time, <laughs> but they help kids too. So, <laughs> If you feel like you're stuck in that thought pattern, if you can't get rid of like idea, like oh, you're overthinking about what's going on in the world today or the stress or anything like that, Thinker is a really great blend to help with overthinking. Um, and you're, if you're just having some problems with focusing, here's a nice um, diffuser blend too. Um, all right. So our guard dog. Derek, the guard dog, um, remember he's the, the amygdala, the part of your brain that warns you when you're in danger, right? And so a great blend for this is Brave. And so Brave is a blend of amar amorous, osmanthus, wild orange, and cinnamon. Um, and this blend keeps our wise old owl on its perch by calming Derek, the guard dog. So it's great to use before new or different situations, or if anybody's feeling nervous or anxious. Um, again, if there's like fear, fear brewing, any of that going on, um, Brave is a great one to help with. And now one of the things that happens a lot for kids is that they can't sleep at night because they're having all of these thoughts that are causing them to stay awake or to have bad dreams. And so one of my favorite diffuser blends for sleep is called Lights Out. And it's two drops vetiver, two drops cedarwood, two drops wild orange, and two drops juniper berry. And it really helps calm, relax, take care of all those night fears, and stop the panic and the mind chatter so that you can just really um, relax into sleep. And it works wonderfully for kids and adults alike. All right, we got our, our Anthony the ape, who is our fight, flight, or freeze response. Um, and so when Anthony's in charge, things don't normally go so well. So one of the fastest ways that we can help Anthony go to sleep and calm down is by using the Steady Blend. And so the Steady Blend is a blend of amorous, balsam, balsam fir, coriander, and magnolia. And so this is for those times when Derek is barking and Anthony is wanting to take charge. We can rub some children's grounding blend, Steady, on the neck, wrists, to calm, and to calm and support the emotions. Now, this stuff works so well. <laughs> it's like the tantrum changer, right? Like, it's like, it's like balance. I don't know about you, but like for a while I had balance and I felt like I just anointed my kids with it when they were like having tantrums, right? Steady works just as well, if not better. I love it. <laughs> so, um, you know, my, my kids aren't quite as young anymore, but when my 11 year old is in a mood where, you know, he's just being awful to um, his sister, to us, to, to, to himself, I'm, I, I get him to use Steady. And so another tip is like, 
you know, we don't ever want to force kids to use essential oils because we want them to have a good experience. And if we're forcing them to use essential oils, then they're not going to have that good experience, that positive experience, and it's less likely that they'll come back to use them on their own again, right? So we want to make sure that when, when we are encouraging them to use essential oils, that's what it feels like, encouraging, right? And so if, if you offer, often if Anthony the Ape is out, kids are going to be saying no to everything. So if you're offering <laughs> steady to a child who's in fight or flight and they're saying no, don't force it, but put, put it on yourself and go sit close to them. You'll become the diffuser, okay? And that will work just as well. All right. I love that, Sarah. We've got a question. Yeah. It says, how do you feel about using your thinker blend for mm -hmm. older adults with memory and thought disruptions, age regression? It was on the wise old owl slide. Yeah, I think, you know, um, the thinker blend, as I said, these blends are, are, you know, they were designed to help kids, but they are seriously awesome for adults too. And so um, I had to buy my own set of, of, you know, my own kit because <laughs> I had to have one for myself because I couldn't get past um, letting, letting my kids take them out of the house. I was like, oh, what if it goes missing, right? I don't wanna miss out on it. So <laughs> I bought myself the kit. And I think that the Thinker blend is so awesome. You know, it has so many great um, oils in there. The vetiver, the clementine, the peppermint and rosemary. That's all gonna help with, um, you know, the neurology um, of the brain and our nervous systems and helping us feel calmer. One of the things that happens a lot as, as um, our aging pop pop population gets dementia is they get really scared. Things don't make sense, right? And so it really, it really creates a lot of anxiety and worry and fear and, um, and, and so if we can use the oils to support them, the calmer, and the thinker, um, the steady, those are all th three great oils to support um, as, as we're thinking about losing memory, um, having those, those um, moments where we, you know, where they don't remember where they are or, or what's going on. Those oils will be great to support them. Okay, uh, let's see here. So I wanted to just, give you a chance to look at all of the stuff that, oops, sorry. Of course, now it works when I click on it. Okay, <clears throat> so this Healthy Kids uh, kit, I just wanted to give you a chance to look at all the stuff that we talked about today in one place so that you can see all of it. Um, so the kids, the kids carrying, uh, kids kit, which I showed you, right? It comes with this awesome carrying case and the, Camburiers, I can never say that word properly, but these little things, right? And I wanted to share with you one of my favorite oil hacks. One of my favorite hacks is to put it on your on guard sanitizing mist, and then you can just clip it to your kids' backpacks, and it's right there. They don't have to go searching for it, it's always, always available to them. I do that on my purse. Um, so you can see that the, the, the kids' collection comes with the seven seven lids so you can carry the carry them around or clip them on um, it also comes with the case and then it comes with the seven essential oils that we spoke about tonight so calmer thinker rescuer stronger brave tamer and steady are all in there um, and it also comes with the instructional flash cards which are so fun and so easy for the kids to to um, get to know even if they can't read because of the symbols on them Right. So we also talked about the probiotic, the PB Assist Junior. We talked about the A to Z chewables and the IQ Mega. So if you're looking to start with a, an, a kit that would help support healthy kids with emotions, um, physically and emotionally, this, these, this is what I would suggest. Okay, does anybody have any questions? No. I just wanted to say, to mention that the new parenting, my new parenting essentials card deck, 
um, which we you got to see a few things. There's 22 cards in the deck with um, different parenting tools and they each have two oils and then a parenting tip on there to explain what the tool is and how you can use it. Um, hot off the presses, but you can now order them online on my website at sarahjoseph.ca. And the book, the children's book that I wrote is on Amazon or it's on my website as well. And it's called The Animals in My Brain, A Kid's Guide to Understanding and Controlling Their Behavior. And oh, last thing I wanted to mention is if you are planning to be at convention in Salt Lake City in September, I'm going to be there too. And uh, I want you to save the date and come see me. I'm doing a workshop on September 9th from 1230 to 330 on parenting essentials. So a bit of what we did tonight, expanded and uh, more experiential. So tickets are on sale now at parentingessentialsticketseventbritecom So, So if you have any questions about what's going on, about what I spoke about, please pop your questions into the comments or into um, the Facebook event and myself or Rosie or your oily support person will get back to you. Um, if you're looking for ways to get these essential oils into your home, if you haven't started using them yet, then again, please reach out to the person who invited you to this call um, or sent you the video they'd be happy to help you figure out what the best kit for you is and how to get it into your home on your budget. Um, doTERRA has a couple ways that you can start with essential oils. One of them is retail, so you can always buy things buy the kits that we were talking about tonight for retail cost. And the other another way is with a wholesale membership. It's kind of like a Costco membership. So you pay um, $35 US um, or $42 Canadian, I'm in Canada, um, <laughs> to get your, your membership. And that's for the next 12 months, you'll receive 25% off of retail prices. And it, it adds up really quickly. So you start getting a lot of savings if you start using these in your home on a regular basis. Um, the third way you can get started with the essential oils is to buy and uh, purchase an enrollment kit. And an enrollment kit is just like buying at Costco, you're kind of buying in bulk. So you are purchasing a kit that's already designed. And when you do that, you get further discounts. doTERRA gives you a further discount um, than your 25% wholesale price uh, because you're buying in bulk. So you'll get further savings, you'll get a lovely kit that will give you a great starter pack, you get your wholesale membership also included. And I believe Rosie has a printout of some of those kits that are available right now. Thank you so much, Sarah. I just checked the comments on both spaces, the Zoom and also in the Facebook Live. Yeah. And I'm not seeing the other questions. Okay. But what I am seeing is people saying, thank you, great information, we loved this, it was perfect. And I'm sure that as people catch the recordings and catch the live inside the group, that that will go up too. So thank you so much. It was great information. And I did make a comment on the Facebook part that I can see how I can use this to parent myself, right? Mm -hmm. Parent my own inner child. Uh, I have already raised four and a half kids because our last one is 12. So that's half, right? He's halfway to 24. So that's about when that cerebral cortex all comes fully into play, right? So he's yep. about halfway, he's about half baked right now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I appreciate your information. It was so good. Um, like Sarah was saying, if you don't already have a wholesale account with doTERRA, it is the best way for you to get your oils and you actually can get the things below wholesale. When you get these collections that she's talking about, that starts you off at below wholesale. And then if you order each month and it can even just be a small amount, it, it's this loyalty rewards program where you can earn back points and those points spend just like dollars. So ultimately you end up for all the product that comes into your home and the money that you put out for getting below wholesale. So I have purchased that way for as long as you do that for more than 13 months, 
and you hit the targets that the Lilch Rewards program has, which is only 50 per month, then you end up with a 55% discount in essence. So it's way below the wholesale cost on that. So um, I do have a couple other things to talk about. The collection that Sarah showed you, if you already have your wholesale account, you can get that on your own loyalty rewards order or just reach out to the person who helps you and they can help you get that. You can purchase the kids' oils individually as well, but you do get the most bang for your buck when you get that collection. And that's how you get the really cute carabiners. And the case is to get them all together in that collection, right? So I am part of a program that doTERRA does. It's called Diamond Club. It's a leadership development program where we help support the people that are also being oil educators. So this is one of the ways that I've helped Sarah. Sarah's helped me. There's others who are connected as part of this whole EO Life tribe who are also doing this Diamond Club. And what that means for you is if you don't already have a wholesale account with doTERRA and you're thinking, I think this is a good time for me to get started and to be empowered to be a healer in my own home and to be able to support myself and my family in this way, and then this, this can really be a benefit to you. Because if you set up your wholesale account with at least 100 PV, and that PV just stands for product value, it's like the wholesale value, then you can get a free citrus bliss oil simply by one of us supporting you and getting that entered in. And if your order is at least 300 PV, or again, that's that wholesale product value, then you get both a citrus bliss and a adaptive oil. And I have to tell you, this adaptive oil, it has been, if you want to talk about being able to have the benefit of all the kids' emotions oils all in one bottle for you as a grown-up, that is how I would sum up this adaptive blend. It's been a game changer in our home. And I know it has been for many others as well. Yeah, um, some of these, oh, sorry, were you going to say something? I just wanted to say the adaptive has been a real game changer in my home as well. I have it going in my diffuser right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It actually was formulated to help with anxious feelings and help to support that brain chemistry. It's part of a three-part collection where there's capsules you can use internally, the full strength that you can diffuse or use topically, and then a roll-on you can also use topically. So uh, even our 12-year-old is taking one of the adaptive capsules each day, and we have seen a huge difference for him and how school's going for him, right? It's a good thing. Um, so these collections, the person that's helping you with learning about the oils, they can help you find the one that is best for you. Maybe it is the kids collection right now. Maybe you have other health things that you'd like to focus on. So reach out to that person and make sure that when you reach out to them, say, hey, Rosie said something about being able to get a free citrus bliss or a free citrus bliss and a free adaptive. It doesn't mean that me or one of the other leaders that's doing Diamond Club becomes your main support or that we're the ones that you're, you're then connected to us. It's, it's a really cool program. We just help them put that in, like enter it into the system and you get the free oil and your friend still gets to be the one that's your support, right? So we've got a giveaway to do because I love giving away things. And so tonight we're going to give away a steady, a steady blend, right? Now the tricky thing is, since we have people on Zoom and we have people on Facebook and you guys can't see each other and we can't just like collect them all in one place, well, what I have been doing is I've been doing the giveaway on Saturday night. So that gives everyone a little bit of time to be able to, um, yeah, if you want to tag a friend or send the recording to someone so they can see it too, they can enter in the giveaway as well, right? So one of the things that worked really well this last time is I have a text only number. And the nice thing about that is you can text and um, then I'll be able to go through and figure out who wins the giveaway, right? And Sarah and I talked about doing one from people who are on live and then also doing one maybe from people that catch the recording, right? Because like you guys showed up here tonight. So like that should be like increase your odds, right? Of being able to win. So that text only number is 385-233-0756. And you'll want to put in there your first name. When you go to text it, send your first name and put 
steady giveaway in there. And don't worry, you're not like joining my marketing list or anything. I have enough people to stay in contact with. <laughs> it really is just for the drawing. And the other thing that's great about that is if you don't already have a doTERRA wholesale account and you want to be able to have help getting started, I will go all out to get you connected up with the Diamond Club person that's closest to you and my team and get you connected up with your friend and make sure you get that free oil, okay? So yeah. let me repeat that number again. It's 385-233-0756. 385, I am dyslexic. I read it wrong last week. 385-233-0756. And say that you're entering in, put your first name. So when I text back, I know who I'm talking to, um, that you're entering in the study drawing. And if you want to have some help getting your doTERRA account set up, put that into and I will get you connected back up to who invited you and who's going to be the best person to get you those free oils. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about any of that? <laughs> I see some comments here. Okay. Oh, Sarah put the number in. That's awesome. So huge shout out to Sarah and those slides were brilliant. Um, I have her book. I'm anxious to get my hands on those parenting cards. The content is brilliant and I'm just so grateful. I think the timing's perfect. We all know people that need this information. I texted out to a couple of friends and I said like, you know, this can help to bring in the calm to the people's homes that we love and care about and help push out the chaos, right? Like we can almost form this great little, um, like a little bubble in a healthy way, right? Around our homes and our families. And uh, the essential oils can do that. And this knowledge of understanding, especially how a kid's brain works, just so valuable for right now. So uh, when you're watching the recording later on too, um, I'd love to hear like, how is this gonna help you? And what do you think you're gonna do with it? And another thing that's really fun for people to catch when they watch the recording is if you have one of these children's blends that's already one of your favorites, like you've used them and you love them, and you have a way that you've used them that's impacted your kids or yourself, put that in the comments too, because it really helps people to understand what they would use these blends for too. Okay. Anything else, Sarah, before we wrap up? I just wanted to say, you know, kids pick up on like everything that's going on around them right? They're like little sponges. So even if you don't think that they're listening or you don't think that they know what's going on, they, the stress, the tension, the fear, it's inside of them. And so, you know, even if we're not voicing it, we're not talking about it, we can help, we can help just by cuddling. Um, that's just going to help their nervous systems calm down. All of the oils are going to help their nervous systems calm down, right? Just lots of hugs and cuddles and understanding. Um, that behavior might be a little bit out of whack right now because they're taking it in, right? Right. And I love your suggestion of just put the oils on yourself and just be a diffuser for them. Yeah. If it's not going to work to put it on them right in that moment, right? Yeah. Even for your graduating teens. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Especially. Okay. Last but not least, next Thursday night, same time, same place. It would be a different Zoom link though, those of you that joined on Zoom, but in EO Life Hub at 7 Pacific, 8 Mountain Time, uh, we will hear from the amazing Stacy Cahill. She is also a gold leader on the EO Life team. She is, a, she is truly an expert. Her wisdom that has to do with supporting the respiratory system and hands-on experience with herself and her daughter are off the charts. I still remember the day that her and Katrina walked up to a booth that I was running. And I remember exactly what Katrina looked like. She was about three years old. She, um, she was in and out of the hospital so much with her respiratory situation. And Stacy, through diet and the oils and all kinds of other things, uh, you would not believe how vibrant and amazing this girl is now compared to then. And I was no stranger to asthma. I mean, I've had asthma. My kids have had asthma. We had, we had two nebulizers in our own home. 
So I wasn't um, necessarily put off by how, how her daughter sounded and what she, um, what she looked like. And yet the transformation is truly amazing. So Stacy will be our presenter next week. It'll be a lot like this. You're welcome to invite people who already know about the oils or people who have no idea at all, because we'll cover the basics and then we'll deep dive into our topic. And um, I just can't wait to see you guys again next week. It'll be great. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Sarah. Bye. Thanks everyone.